I want to get start by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukal Gurdash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, and shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as Israelites of the Holy Bible. Now, in today's uh, lesson, this is your uh, Yeshaya from the Alei camp. I want to go ahead and get into a parable of, of the owner of the house that's described in Matthew 13 and 52. This parable was talked about in a, as, a, uh, as a following parable to the small parables that are right here. And it talks a lot about the scribes, but let me go ahead and just get into these uh, small um, small uh, allegories and then we can get into this, this uh, parable. This is Matthew 13 and 40. As therefore the tares are gathered and burnt in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, hid in a field, and which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof go, go, goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchantman, seeking goodly pearls, who when he hath found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into a sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yahawashai saith unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass that when Yahawashai had finished these parables, he departed thence. And that's exactly what the exactly what uh, we are the uh, the prophets that hear this word of the Bible and and spread it forth, right? We're the uh, scribes of this word. We're the people who hear this word, write it down, save it, and tell it over again, over and over again, until until others hear it. This is how it's been through our people from the beginning, right? We've always told stories. We always had, we always looked to, towards our, to our elders who had these stories, right? Because we knew that in them were the, were the keeping of the ancient knowledge, right? Where all the treasure things were kept. This is why it tells you that, that those who heard, heard all these parables that Yahweh was speaking, he had asked them. He's, he asked them if he, they understood everything that he was talking about, in which they des described they did, because they, uh, they understood the allegories, and they understood the parables which he was talking about, right? And this is why he said, he's all, this is why those people who record these things for, the, for, the, for heaven, in the future, they're going to be known, they're going to be as, as, as men who have homes who bring treasure things out of their homes, right? To share them with the world, because that's exactly what it is. Is when you when you hear these these stories and these prophecies and these little allegories and these in these personal quips from, from prophets all around the world, from Apostle Tahar all the way down. When you hear these stories, and I can attest to this myself, you you start repeating them. You repeat them because they're an example of an illust of a point that illustrates. Uh, a scripture perfectly right or it gets across something that couldn't easily be 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 brought forth by giving other examples 
this is why as as scribes and as you know spreaders of this truth we have to you know with all the lessons that we're out here listening to we have to you know be prudent and diligent and listen to as much as we can so this way we can mix it together we can bring it bring it back to the masses that way when people listen they're getting a full understanding of, of what it means to be an Israelite what it means to use God's proper name what it means to, to you know to do a lot of the things that are written in the Bible that aren't expanded upon by these churches right but but this is the things that we got to focus on right we have to bring out the the old stories that we've heard growing up in this truth you know from the old stories that you hear about the one west school the 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 diligence of the elders who who are pushing till this day what they had to do you know to to get th this message out what they had to do when they would need to learn something how they would have to go to the, the libraries and actually look up things manually you know we have to we have to understand these old treasures and, and keep them keep them so that way when when an issue arises or 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 the ideal time arises to bring out that story you could be there and you could share it amongst the group and stuff right because you, you'll see me for example I mean I don't I don't talk much in the group but I'll definitely uh, give a suggestion or I'll drop some some names or some or some items which can definitely be expanded upon you know because I don't I don't need that glory you don't need to you don't need to get that extra shine in a group and stuff you know because it's ultimately the message that's the important thing and that's what you should be doing if you have if, if you're in a if you're in a camp and you have information that could help the speaker uh, you know bring out his point you know then you share that with them right you you ask to speak you know you don't interrupt them but what you do is you when you have a point you just you make you 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 note to the speaker you say if it's a precept you say I have a precept say I have a precept for you or you could say can I speak on that quick God you know just say something like that you know and then when you're given the okay you speak on it you 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 expand your experience that you've received from this wisdom and you share it with the with the group you know and you bring out an old treasure and just like you like how there's these old treasures there's gonna be new treasures out there there's gonna be new things that we're going to uh, to experience from from uh, one of the newest things that that's happened recently is where we had one of one of the mighty men from one of our our, our from our Spanish camp his name is Dawa you know Dawada you know some lady had come up to him and she was speaking and she had started to speak in tongues because this is what she had taught was was normal and good right she started speaking it and as soon as she sp spoke started speaking like this Dawada had started to to rebuke her and told her no 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 that isn't the way and as soon as he, he uh, and you could tell she had gone all into a, to a trance or whatever and this all happened within seconds but you could tell uh, Dawada had, had rebuked her he had called out the proper names of the Lord and the Messiah and you could tell that spirit jumped right off of her and she even uh, uh, um, thanked him for doing that Right. This is so. This right here is a new treasure that's be that that you know when you, when you see these things, it's important for those these things to be documented and retold and and for testimonies to be to be told of them, or else they get forgotten. Right. You have a lot of things that will happen in our in our in our lifetime in front of our very face, but that we just that you'll see some brothers just can you know give it no considerance, or or they won't think anything of it right but but that hardly happens since a lot of the brothers are very are very uh, spiritual so they'll see all these spiritual things hap happen and then they'll you know mention it but then the next point after that is to is to share it and to bring it up again right because when it's not brought up that's when these treasures they fade and they get old and, and they get forgotten right but hopefully this this uh, parable and this and this lesson was able to give you some some advice you know when you're when you're writing down these these uh these uh lessons when you're listening to new new ways scriptures are broken down you know what i do is i write down i have a little ledger where I, where i write certain categories for for lessons right if if there, somebody speaks about a certain scripture that's good for a particular lesson i'll write it down on on you know four or five different categories that that scripture would go good into 
you know, also, and also, um, you know, hopefully this, this uh, video was edifying, Akim. So until the next time, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechok, Rodash. Double honors to my teachers, the Apostle Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.